I literally have like 15 minutes to film, so I need to stop singing and hurry up. Yeah. Four nights at Freddy's. No, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Hey, good to see you. Are you ready for some fast food pizza? Who's this? Working at the night shift. I don't know, but I don't think I like it. Now tell me how to brand new plaything. Another yellow bag, don't be like a Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. In today's video we're going to be doing a little bit of crocheting, obviously. Um, it's going to be a crochet with me and for the first time in forever, for the first time in forever, I'm going to be doing a beanie. Um, now I say I'm going to be doing a beanie, I've already done a beanie and I recorded the process and I'm really glad I did because there was no way that I was going to get this done in a day which is obviously very delusional of me but then again it is me. But basically I'd seen this beanie on TikTok and I was like I really want to make it. Um, it's kind of camp, I love it. And then my best friend Rebecca sent me a TikTok being like Mel please, I'll do anything, like anything. And I was like okay okay I'll make you one okay fine if I want to hold you to that I'll do anything um so it's basically a Freddy beanie it's a Freddy Fazbear beanie and it's absolutely adorable and yeah like what a perfect opportunity to create a beanie because like I said I've never done one before the only issue is she's living in Chester for university so I trusted her to measure her own head but that doesn't matter anyway because she sent me all like this video of her measuring her head and I watched it and I was like, oh cool. And then I was like, oh wait, I need those measurements. And then I didn't re-ask her because I couldn't be bothered. I was like, yeah, she's got a similar head to me. So I just basically did it to my head and then um, hopefully it'll fit. And if not, then I've got a really cute beanie on my hands. So it doesn't really matter. But I'll be putting in the time lapses anything. I'll be talking over the top of it, I've decided because there were just a lot of things that I wanted to say. But yeah, that's what this video is gonna be. So if you do wanna come and crochet with me a little Freddy Fazbear beanie, then keep on watching. But without further ado, let's get into it, my darlings. Okay, hi, hello, future editing Mel here, just doing a little voiceover for this section. As you can see, I'm literally halfway through already making the beanie. Uh, in classic Mel fashion, I completely forgot that I was meant to be recording this bit, and then halfway through, I was like, oh, yeah, huh, should probably do that. This angle is really awkward, I do apologise, but it's the best we're gonna get, my darlings. I'm so sorry. No, no, I'm basically doing this just to have a little chit chat with you and just show you what I was watching whilst I was like crocheting this. Started with the Welsh twins, obviously, then listened to some music. Then I got bored and then I watched Talk To Me interviews. I don't know if any of you have seen Talk To Me, but it's literally one of my favourite horror movies ever now. It literally came out like two weeks ago and I've seen it about eight times. I can't stop watching it. Then I watched this interview with Raka Raka who are like, the brothers that made this film. I love them so much, they're so cool and like the way they talk about the movie is incredible. I, I love it so much. Anyway, and then speaking of other horror movies, I then went on to, I don't know how I've only just found his channel, but it's Seize's World, but Zach Morris is his name, is like a horror fanatic and he just does like rundowns on all the classic slasher films and like I just binge watch all of his videos and I just can't, I love him so much. Um, so I just went on a little spiral. No pun intended, considering I'm watching the jigsaw one. Yeah, anyway, back to the thing. It's basically all, there was two ways of doing the beanie. I could either do all half double crochets or I could do half double crochets and then around seven or eight single crochets at the end of each row and then like alternate in between the two. And apparently the single crochets in the end are meant to stop it from like bunching really weird at the top. Um, obviously I've not got another beanie to compare it to so I wouldn't know, but I just followed this little tutorial and it worked out really, really well. I'd measured it up to another beanie but I also measured it to 18 inches across just because that's what everyone was recommending when I was looking at other like TikToks and things like that and then you can see me doing the ears and everything and now we're gonna go back to future now. Okay so you're back from the little montage, hello, hi, um let me show you the beanie. Now I haven't sewn the ears on yet, I'm gonna be doing that today and I haven't finished the ears, I'm gonna be doing that today but here it is. Look how cute. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit long for my head. But what I'm thinking is, Rebecca has curly hair, like she has curly, curly hair. So the top of her head is a lot more voluminous. So I'm hoping that it'll fit. There was, there was, there was thought behind that. 
that I made it a little bit longer than my head because she's got a, a more voluminous head. <laughs> Rebecca, you've got a voluminous head if you did want to know. I also forgot to mention Rebecca's the one that does all the art for the channel, so the banners, um, they're all by Rebecca. And also if we ever do the membership thing, all the buttons and everything will be from Rebecca, so. A talented little, a talented little dolphin wah potato. I know it's dolphin wah, not dolphin wah. Anyway, and then we have the ears. So they'll all be attached on. Beautiful. I was gonna say this at the start, but I may as well just say it now. As you saw in the video, I was watching quite a lot of um, Seize this horror, I can never remember I say it, Zach Morris. He's a horror fanatic and I absolutely love his videos. And if you didn't know like all the lore and everything on Freddy and you know, Five Nights at Freddy's and all that lovely jubbly stuff, he's done a brilliant video, um, one of Horror Histories, which is like my favorite series that he does on his channel. Um, so if you did want to dive into the depths of Freddy Fazbear and the gang, then go and watch that video because it's absolutely amazing and I absolutely love him. Freddy and Zach. But yeah, anyway. Um, I also forgot to mention this at the beginning, but <laughs> I forgot to mention a lot of things. But I, um, I have, like, yeah, I, I love Five Nights at Freddy's. I love the lore more than anything. I could sit for hours just watching and re-watching people repeat themselves and dive into the depths of the history and everything like that for hours on end. Um, I played some of the games, not all of them, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just because like after 2000 and whatever it were, I didn't have a PC, so I wasn't able to play them, but I played them from what I could. But obviously I've watched like Markiplier play it and everything like that, so I'm not clueless. <laughs> um, and like I said, the law is my favorite thing, so. But yeah, I'm going to basically continue this beanie now. I have to make the hat, which I have a cardboard box so I'm going to cut up to make the little circle thing at the top. Um, and then, what else do I have to do? Obviously I have to sew these on, do the little uh, paler parts as well. I was really worried that this colour wouldn't transfer well, but it's actually really, really cute. Like when it was in the skein, like I didn't like it. Like I didn't like the colour, I just got it because I was like, maybe I'll change my mind and want it for like a plant pot or something, like that but I never used it because I looked here and I was like, you're way too warm turned, but for this, perfect fun nights at Freddy's. It's all that's going around in my head now. But I'm basically gonna do this all today, all tonight, and then I'll hopefully have it finished for tomorrow morning. And that's when I'll see you next like this. But other than that, it's gonna be a bunch of time lapses again, probably for the second time this evening, folks. Let's get into it, showing my darlings. Oh, let's finish it, showing my darlings. <laughs> Do you know what? I've just spent the past like. <laughs> do you know what? That was that was so Yorkshire. I do apologise, but you know what? Oh, I just read whatever. I've just spent the past like hour and a half getting ready for this video because I was like, I don't want to do. I want to do something that's going to tie in with Five Nights at Freddy's and just like look like Freddy Fazbear. So I did that latte makeup that. I've seen everyone doing. So that's what I've done. I even went out and did my brows and everything. And then I've like killed my hair real nice, real nice. And then I've just tried on the beaner. 
every time I say the beanie, I want to say Zabini, as in Blaze. And it is an issue, and it is affecting my vocabulary, and I don't appreciate it, Blazy Boy. But anyway, I'm just like, why have I just gone out and done my hair when I'm literally going to be putting a beanie on top of it? Good thing is, the top, top of my head, I'll the top of my head I uh, have flat so anyway um hello everyone how are we um nice to see you it's three days later not from the last time you saw me but I've been doing this beanie for three days now well technically I did it in two days technically I could have done it in one if I weren't so lazy and I got up at a decent time it's been three days since I first started this video let's let's go with that um and I finally finished the beanie Zabina. I keep wanting to say Zabini. I can't help it. I'm sorry. But yeah, yesterday I did the ears and I did the hat as you would have seen on the time lapse. Um, I didn't show everything just because like then there would be no element of <gasps> that's what it looks like because you would have already seen it. Even though there's probably not even going to be an element of <gasps> because it's it's Zabina. But before I show you, I just I just I just want to say why do I make everything sound so serious? Like it's just not. Um, I didn't use the little ear like inner ear pieces just because the color that i had was a little bit too light and i just think it looks better without it um personally not like if i had the color that they had in the tiktok then it would have looked better but with the color that i had if i would have put it on it wouldn't have looked as good as it does now without it if that makes sense yeah and then the heart i just don't know i listen for the ears and the heart i could have done with using a smaller hook um, especially the hat because you can see little holes um, if it was for someone other than my best friend then I probably would have redone it but Rebecca knows me so she knows I'm not a perfectionist <laughs> she knows that if she gets something it's probably gonna be one kit so this is expected from me but anyway are you ready because I'm not um I think that's everything that I wanted to say about it ready I'm just gonna like snapshot it, ready? Snapshot eye. Green, green grass. Ready? Three, two, one. Guys, this hair was not made for beaners. What am I supposed to do? It, it looked, do you know? I'm just going with the fact that this is definitely like you just take photos with it because it's kind of not uncomfortable to wear but I'd just be like this the entire time but then again this is literally not for me and my hair it's it's not for me and my hair so oh it is adorable though ain't it <laughs> like I said the ears and the hat are bigger than the one on TikTok so maybe that's why it's like not exactly oh my god it's really cute oh, now I don't like oh my god no done because now like I can't I was uh I was saying this so I have Obviously, I have Leicester friends and I have Yorkshire friends, like best fr best friend, you know what I mean. Um, and there's four of us here, and ah! so like it's literally Bonnie, Chica, Freddie, and Foxy, and I'm Foxy. So like, could you imagine like a red one, a red one that's a little bit withered? I don't know how I'd do that. I'd probably like leave a little gap. Oh, that'd look really cute, actually. Yeah. And then like, do I'd, I'd crochet myself a little eye patch. I'd get, I'd, I'd chop my hand off and make a metal claw. And then like a bonny one, a purple one, or a rabbit beanie, obviously a doy. And then what would you do for Chica? I'd just do like a yellow one with like a little, oh crochet cupcake. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm doing. I'm probably never gonna do that, but won't that be really fun as like series? If you do actually like want that as a series, I will happily do that because I'd love to make every single one of these. And then even though um, Chloe and Amy would never probably wear these beanies and it'd just be me and Rebecca, it's fine because if I could get them to wear it for like one singular group photo, that would be me happy for the rest of my life. So yeah, let me know. <laughs> but yeah, this is her, this is she. Um, honestly, really easy to do. Um, I could have easily done this in a day. There's a little bit of cardboard on top here, which I've never used before, but it, it makes it a little bit heavier, but not too heavy to the point where it's sagging, which is cute. Um, it was really easy to do for my first bean it. Um, I'd just use a smaller hook size. That's it, because like I said, my tension isn't the best anyway. So using a five millimeter hook is not my favorite thing to do. I don't like using big hooks because I just don't like it. My tension's just way too loose. Um, so I'd probably go for like a four 
maybe 4.5 and then definitely definitely like a 3.5 or a 4 for these three bits um and then that'd probably make it the same size as the one on the tiktok but overall i'm like really happy with it let me know what you guys think um please be really nice and kind because i have a fragile little heart <laughs> But yeah, as far as this resident as far as this beanie goes, it's done. It's complete. Yeah! Like I said, I mentioned at the beginning of this video, like I've basically edited the entirety of this video up until this point. So I said about doing a K pop, like K R M I didn't want to say K pop because there were a few like actors in there as well and also R and B artists, like uh, Korean R&B artists so I said Korean idols but then if I say Korean idols and that's not technically true because there's Chinese Japanese English American Canadian like there's all but if I say K if I say Korean idols I don't know what to call it I'm probably just gonna call it K-pop because I'm not gonna lie that's gonna draw the most people in and then I'll just explain at the beginning that it's not just K-pop let me know if that's something that you want to see I'm probably gonna do it anyway I'm not gonna lie because I've already started curating a Pinterest board and I really like them and I'd actually really like to create some of them as well so that'd be a really cool crochet with me idea I guess but yeah let me know what you think let me know if you've watched the Five Nights at Freddy's film how interested you are in the entirety like the entire universe of that and if you enjoyed it as like a standalone movie or as like a FNAF like part of the FNAF universe let me know if you didn't know already we do have a lovely discord community so I will leave that little link in the description as well in case you want to come along and join us absolutely lovely people there love them to death I'll also have my Instagram and my TikTok and whatever else I'm gonna try and upload more on TikTok um I upload on stories on Instagram every single day even if it's just like reposts of other people and things like that I just the most wackiest shit goes on my story so but yeah it's November now so expect Christmas videos very soon I'm thinking of doing lots and lots of gift ideas so there'll be a lot more of that and also I'm thinking of doing a lot more crochet with me's because everyone's basically getting crocheted items this year for Christmas um so that's gonna be really fun I'm really excited like this is for Rebecca I'm probably gonna give it a now but technically it's a Christmas gift but I also want to make so many much pink things for her because I'm not a very pink person but I love the colour pink like I don't wear pink and I don't really own anything that's pink but the colour pink I love it but when I wear pink I hate it because it's not me it's not me I don't have a pink personality but my brain is pink I'm gonna say it like that um, that's how I'm gonna word it I don't have a pink personality but my brain is pink like yeah but yeah, that is it from me, my lovely dumplings, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye now. Five nights at Freddy's!